Greetings to all the lovely ladies and gentlemen out there. I'm your host, The Progent, and like every other YouTube channel, I like to list various things. What kinds of things? Well, favorite things, obviously. Except my top 10 continents. It, it wouldn't work. Trust me, I've tried. Could you just play the intro, please? One of the first things that jumps to mind when you remember an anime is usually the opening theme song, whether it's the jazzy Lupin opening that I've talked about before, or the intensity of Inner Universe from Ghost in the Shell, or even the awesomely stupid English dub themes from my childhood. An anime's opening sequence is often one of its most memorable moments. But great as they are, openings often overshadow what can be a better musical moment, the show's ending credits theme. These are often shortened or skipped to get to the next episode and can be forgotten because of such. Well, I for one have had enough. It's time the ending themes had their day in the sun. So today, I'm going to present my top 10 anime ending themes. Just to clarify, this is a list of songs that were used as regular end credit themes. Not one used for a film or a short OVA series. Those songs can be great too, but that's for another time. Number 10. Set Them Free from My Neighbor Seki. This is a song that came as a surprise to me the first time I heard it. The wild drums drive the song and serve to highlight the antics of Seki's goofing off in class. Not too often do drums carry the entirety of a song as much as they do here. And if you were to remove them, the song would just be ruined. Plus, the special version used in the credits, where the composer, Akira Jimbo, used school supplies for drums, was really cool. Number 9. ZZZ from Nichijou. more relaxing songs on this list, ZZZ is a nice contrast from the insanity involved with the girls from Nichijo and their daily oddities. Utilizing a very soothing music box in the background of this very upbeat song, it creates opposing sounds to make a great blend of relaxation and energy. The acapella version is equally good, with Sasaki Sasaya reprising her lead singing role. Check it out when you get a chance. Number 8, You May Mite Eowo from Soccer Wars. This franchise is incredibly popular in Japan, and with music like this, it deserves to be. This is a very beautiful song sung by the voice actress for the main character, Shinguji Sakura. A good sign of an ending theme is not wanting to skip to the next episode when it comes up. This was one of those songs for a mixture of the lovely instrumentation and the stellar singing of Chisa Yokoyama. Number 7. Ride on Shooting Star from Fooly Cooly. by an oddly fitting live-action sequence, this great rock song is the perfect finish to the high-octane excitement of Fooly Cooly. I'm pretty sure this has been on every MP3 player and phone I've owned since I was, like, 12. It's just so good. Really, all of Fooly Cooly's soundtrack is great, with a band like The Pillows performing it.
Number six, Super Love Lotion from Tokimeki Tonight. definite contender for the awkward song titles list and the second oldest song on this list this song is so 80s that it almost hurts but the hurt is so good this song that accompanies the love triangle between a vampire girl a yakuza princess and the cutest boy is so damn catchy i always end up having to play it at least twice when i start to listen to it Number 5, Fukai Mori from Inuyasha. This one might be a little divisive, but I'm a fan of Inuyasha. I could do without a lot of the filler, but when the show gets down to business, it's still a classic for me. And nothing made watching it really late on Saturday nights when I was a teenager, like getting to listen to the ending theme to top off a good episode. I was a particular fan of Fukai Mori because of the heavy use of acoustic guitar and woodwinds. It brought a lot out of the fantasy that you just witnessed. Number the fourth, love theme from Lupin the Third, part two. Shocker. Yep, this is your obligatory Lupin content for the day. This is one of the best songs to come out of the Lupin franchise, and it wraps up each story nicely in a very calm, almost wistful melody driving home the desire to go back to the fun that you just had with Lupin and the gang. The visuals for this theme also serve as a callback to the previous Lupin series, with both featuring Fujiko driving against the horizon at sunset. Number 3, Rain or Shine from 91 Days. I'm using a still here because 91 Days copyrights are, let's say, aggressively protected. I'm a big fan of gangster anime, and I wish there was more of it, because we get beautiful lounge songs like this to accompany them. 91 Days ending is relaxing, but has a certain regret to the way it sounds. Much like the struggles of the various characters in this anime about bootlegging and revenge. The series has recently been brought to Blu-ray and DVD from Funimation, and I highly recommend picking it up. Number 2. Gentle Dawn from Dot Hack Sign. This song is brought to life by a beautiful Celtic sound that I can never pass up on my playlist. The song's echoey flute evokes a powerfully sad dissonance that I adore when I'm walking at night. It truly resonates with the show's very melancholy tone about accepting your faults and those of others. Number 1. Shiki no Uda from Samurai Shampoo. I had to put this on top because, well, it's Nujibes. Nujibes was a musician who sadly died back in 2010, but his musical legacy stands the test of time for me. Samurai Shampoo's entire soundtrack is fantastic, and the intro is also a personal top pick for me. But the ending theme, I feel, is better to a certain degree. It brings more emotion to the show in contrast to the Edo period journey you find yourself in most of the time.
Well, there we go. Hope you listen to these and appreciate them as much as I do. And please, tell me some of your favorites in the comments below. I've been The Professional Gentleman, and thank you for listening. Oh boy, I can't wait to see the number of copyright hits we get for this one. Thanks for watching. As always, a thank you to Andy Lita for keeping me looking so fine. Check out his work in the description below. If you enjoyed the show, please click on that thumbs up over there. It helps us out a lot. If you've got suggestions for something I can review in the future, feel free to leave it in the comments below. And of course, subscribe to my channel for future content. Love ya, boy!